In order to add or subtract rational expressions, we must have the same or like denominators. In these two examples, notice the denominators look almost the same, but not quite the same. Notice here we have a positive x, here we have a negative x, here we have a negative, here we have a positive two. So these denominators are actually opposites. So to deal with opposite denominators, we can factor out a negative or negative one from one of the denominators to make the denominators look almost the same. So we'll leave this first fraction the same, but we are going to include the numerator and denominator in parentheses. So we'll have the quantity 12x plus one all over the quantity x minus two plus here we have the quantity seven x plus three. And now here we're going to factor out a negative or negative one. I'm going to use a negative, which is just going to change the sign of these two terms. So instead of having a negative x, this will be a positive x. And instead of being a positive two, this will be negative two. Notice if we distribute the negative, we would have the same expression, though the order would be different. Now let's talk about negative fractions for a moment. If I had, for example, negative two-thirds, this negative sign can be out in front of the fraction. It can be in the numerator, or it can be in the denominator. All of these are equivalent. So what we'll do now is just move this negative sign up into the numerator, and when we do this, notice how then the denominators will be the same. So we'll have the quantity 12x plus one all over the quantity x minus two plus, our denominator is now going to be the quantity x minus two, and the numerator is now going to be negative the quantity seven x plus three. And now that we have like denominators, the denominator is going to stay the same, and then we'll add the numerators. We are going to clear the parentheses, so now we can think of distributing a positive one here and distributing a negative one here. So we'd have 12x plus one. This is going to be plus a negative seven x or minus seven x. This will be plus a negative three or minus three. Now we'll combine the like terms in the numerator. We still have the quantity x minus two in the denominator. Notice our numerator is going to be 12x minus seven x, that'll be five x. And one minus three is equal to negative two, so we have five x minus two in our numerator. Now we do want to try to simplify this fraction, but since the numerator does not factor, this does not simplify. We cannot simplify these minus twos, for example, because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. But since the numerator and denominator do only contain one factor, the parentheses are optional. We could write this as five x minus two all over x minus two. Either of these two forms are acceptable. Now let's take a look at a second example when we have subtraction. Again, notice how the denominators are opposites. So for the first step, we're going to include parentheses everywhere. So I have the quantity x plus one over the quantity x minus five minus the quantity two x plus fourteen over, and again, because our denominators are opposites, here we're going to factor out a negative, and this will be a positive x and a minus five. Now remember, this just means this fraction is negative, and remember, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So now we can rewrite this as an addition problem. We would have the quantity x plus one all over the quantity x minus five plus the quantity two x plus fourteen all over the quantity x minus five. And now that we have a common denominator, we can add the numerators. And at the same time, we'll clear the parentheses, which we can think of just distributing a positive one, which is not going to change any signs. So here we'd have x plus one plus two x plus fourteen. Now we'll combine like terms. One x plus two x is three x. One plus fourteen is fifteen, so plus fifteen. Notice how the numerator does factor. There's a common factor of three here. So we'd have three times the quantity x plus five all over the quantity x minus five. Notice how these factors are not the same. One's a sum and one's a difference. So this does not simplify. So we'd leave our answer in this form. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.